morning. I've been driving for a while already, but it was dark, so I couldn't really vlog. And we are in Ohio. Ohio. We are, we just passed through Cleveland, I think. And we are headed, we're right by the Pennsylvania border already. We're about a half hour from our destination. I don't think we're in Pennsylvania yet. Then again, maybe we are. I don't know what Pennsylvania looks like. It's very much like Ohio, I think, in this part. Once you get further into Pennsylvania, it turns all like bumpy and hilly and stuff. Then you know you're in Pennsylvania. Dutch country. Walmart, why are you going so slow? I heard that Walmart pays really well down here in the States. Is that true? Somebody told me that. So, if you're looking for a high paying job, apparently this is it. Hello there, rich feller. Fine, don't look at me. So this is what? US 30 East? 9.5 kilometers on US 30 East. Yep. We are crossing some kind of river. We got here Hancock County, a certified business location, whatever that means. Okay. Ohio River. Oh, okay. Oh, we're going into West Virginia. Oh, that's right. West Virginia shoots up north here just a little bit. There's like a sliver that shoots up north between Ohio and Pennsylvania. I forgot about that. That's strange, eh? Okay. Well, look at this, though. You got some mountains over here. Pardon me, hills. So if you look on a map, you would see right in the northern part of West Virginia where a little sliver shoots up here. That's where I am right now. Apparently they really wanted this little piece of land. A very scenic road that I happen to be on. So I've drive, driven about five minutes down the road and now I'm in Pennsylvania. And <laughs> we're through that little stretch of West Virginia. Apparently we're on the most windy, twisty road in the area. Why not? Take the scenic road. Thanks, Mandy. I love these roads. They're fun. I wouldn't want to do them all the time. But every now and then they're fun. Let me come out and do a clearing here. Isn't this just beautiful? Beautiful little towns in here in the hills. Little farms in here. What kind of farms are these? What kind of farms can you have in the hills like this? Hey Diesel, cows! Cows! Good boy, you spotted them. I guess they have cow farms around here. Little towns. Wouldn't it have been like so much easier just to like move this whole town like across the river to Ohio where it's flat and build it there instead of building it like on the side of a mountain? I'm wondering. It is nice in here, like very beautiful. It must be so difficult and expensive to build in here. I don't know what do it cost just to level it out. Worth it, I guess. I mean, I'd love living here. I would not have time to take care of that yard, but look at these yards on the left. All perfectly nicely mowed on the right, too. Apparently, everyone, everyone out here owns a first class lawnmower. <laughs> Everyone's lawn is perfectly mowed. Wow. Nice neighborhood. It's better than my lawn. I want to get rid of my lawn. I want a maintenance-free yard. I'm never there. Oh, look at what I found. There's a little town squished up here in the hills. This is cute. A nice little house. Very, very nice. What's your town called, people? Frankfurt. No. Frankfurt Springs. Frankfurt Springs? Is that what it's called? 
the sign on a building there that said that. Cool. I wonder how old this town is. I bet you it was settled when they only had horse and buggy. Judging by how close the houses are to the road. sort of like a county I think Hanover that's a familiar name it's also a city in Germany well diesel how do you like the waiting game how do you like the waiting game those are rockets oh, I missed my bike speaking of the waiting game so I'm at the customer here, right? Had a nine o'clock appointment this morning. Got here just before nine. There's a guy behind me who pulled in who had an appointment for 10. So we're both here, right? And it's not, it's, he's a driver from a different company delivering the same kind of product. Anyways, so uh, we go in there together and we're like, hey, we're here. Like, who are you? We're here for our appointments, nine and 10 o'clock. We talked to this and this person. No one's told us anything you're going to be here today. We're not ready for you. Really? Like, okay, well, it's not that big. You know, it's just a partial order and whatnot. Like, all right, well, we got one more driver in front of you, and then uh, we'll come get you, and we'll get you guys quickly unloaded, and then you can be on your way. Like, oh, perfect. Three and a half hours pass by. There it goes. And still nothing nothing so I get out of the truck and I go into the receiving office there again and I show up there and there's a different guy in there now and I was talking to him saying hey uh, I'm out back there waiting to get unloaded just seeing how it's going when am I gonna get unloaded so it's going on in my head so I'm just like, yeah. he's like well who are you again I was here at nine o'clock this morning for my appointment we don't have anything on file for you. Yeah, I know, but uh, we were gonna get unloaded after that other guy. No one told me that. So nobody in the receiving office knew that we were out here waiting to be unloaded. So we've been sitting here for three and a half hours and no one's told anybody anything. That was a very nice bike too. Sorry, I didn't show it to you. So now I have eight more drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After this one that are all gonna be pushed back an entire day. I'm having a good day. Well, Diesel, would you like to go outside? Would you like to go outside since we're sitting here? We might as well have fun. You wanna go pee on your tree? Oh, I very much like you, man, very much. That's not very nice, you shouldn't pee on your stuff. We're gonna go into the ditch over there and you can pee on the grass in the ditch. How's that sound? In the ditch. Yeah, oh, it sounds great, man, it sounds great. I'd love to go outside. Oh, there in the open air. Oh, in the open air. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, let's go outside. How long this tunnel's gonna be? The Fort Pitt Tunnel. It's probably gonna be super long. Here we go. Oh, lights, lights on. Why is everybody going like 20 miles an hour? Everybody's scared of the dark. You don't have your lights on. No one turns their lights on in the tunnels. Well, I'm gonna honk my horn. Should I honk my horn? No, I shouldn't honk my horn. <laughs> I think that's illegal, isn't it? I really wanna honk my horn right now. My air horn. Satellite reception. Oh, Mandy doesn't like the tunnel. <laughs> I got cut off from Mandy. Tunnels are fun. This is a straight tunnel, though. I thought there'd be some turns or something fun. It's straight. Is there another one after this yet? 
the tunnel. Yeah. And I haven't even lost my cell signal. I've been talking on the phone the whole time going through the tunnel. Who am I talking to? Everyone's wondering. I wonder. Oh, and then downtown is right here. What a view. What city is this? Pittsburgh, right? Wow. That is a beautiful downtown. Hey. Like, Wait, 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 which way do I go? Do I go this way? Mandy! I need you back now. <laughs> Keep right on oh. to I-376 East. You go like right past downtown. Continue 23 kilometers on I-376 East. So I've been talking, I've been talking on the phone for a little while. I wonder how many people could guess who I'm talking to right now. tunnel how lucky are we today diesel how lucky are we this one might even have a curve in it allegheny mountain where i don't see any mountain all right here we go shades off headlights on this is just a day of tunnels isn't it diesel it's always getting darker spooky don't look at me like that, Diesel. Are you scared of the dark? Be a man. I don't know about this, man. Let's see how far this tunnel goes. How far do you guys think it's going to go? How many of you have been through this tunnel recently? Ah, there's a question for the comments. How many of you live near this tunnel? How many of you live in this tunnel? <laughs> Awkward question. I hope none of you actually live in the tunnel. You never know. I'm trying to get Wi-Fi somewhere. Oh, come on. I thought there was a corner in here. Oh, the corners are after the tunnel. go very nice it's a day of tunnels today what a day what a day it is ending here where are we he's where are we oh no boy it smells nice it does kind of smell nice doesn't it is that your fart do your fart smell like flowers now that's impressive man Breezewood, Pennsylvania, that's where we are. Breezewood, Pennsylvania. Gotta do it with my log books here and uh, go in for a shower. I love shower time. It's like the one place where you get to go into like a nice, clean, sanitized little room and it's all yours. You can just hang out. And then you come out smelling nice and clean and fresh. You just feel like, I'm ready. Ready to take on the world. Right, Diesel? You, even you like bath time, you weirdo. I do, man. I do. Where are you trying to go? Where are you going? He was very concerned he had to go back there. What do you want? Get back on your seat, man. Get back on your seat. Good boy. Lay down and just chill. Chill, man. Chill. All the way down. Good boy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no cheating. All the way down, good boy. Stay. Uh, so we're an hour and a half from our delivery point that we're gonna deliver tomorrow morning. I was supposed to deliver it this afternoon, but no, the people this morning had to take absolutely all day. I got out of there at like 4.30 in the afternoon. I was supposed to be out of there at like 9.30 this morning. Not impressed, not happy about it, but life goes on. And now I get to stay at this fine establishment tonight and take a shower, so hey. 
It's all right. So you remember a few weeks ago we went to Newport, North Carolina. We're going back there. That's where probably where we're going to sleep tomorrow night. But you're going to have to tune in tomorrow night to find out if that actually happens. So we have new vlogs every day, 4 a.m. Central Time here in North America. And you can hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It helps out a lot because then you get your, my videos sent right to your YouTube feed. If you want, you can find me on Facebook and Twitter. I think I got a Google Plus. I don't use Google Plus very much though, so don't try to contact me there. It won't work. What else do I got? I got Instagram. All the links are down below in the description, guys. So go check them out. Go click whatever links you want down there.